Hello everybody, today we'll be doing the Chalice of Tears jump puzzle in Ember Bay. This will be for Living World Season 3. We're going to be at the Castaway Circus Waypoint, and we're going to be going up to the Sephora Titanum with Chalice of Tears as our jump puzzle. We're going to take these thermal tubes all the way to the end. You do need a mastery point for these. It'll be at the very bottom of Heart of Thorns under Ancient Magics with Thermal Propulsion. Now you can either just jump into these guys or you can press F to hop in. Now these will automatically take you all the way to the end, but if you wanted to stop at some point, you can just go ahead and open up your glider and start gliding away. From here, we'll go to the left-hand side, and we're going to aim for this little area over here. Only mounts aren't allowed in this section. We have two entrances. I'll go ahead and use the further one over here. It's easier to get to. Now we do have this outcropping of rocks to our right hand side, but just because it's solid rock doesn't mean that you are safe from the lava burning. For some reason there are some pieces of solid rock that still burn you. I think it's just a bug, it's never been changed. So just be cautious. As you can see here, we are at our very first checkpoint. This says checkpoint start. That means this is the start of the jump puzzle. This is not checkpoint number one. This just means that if you die, before you get to checkpoint number one, you don't have to waypoint and ride those thermal tubes all the way back. You just automatically start right back here. Now keep in mind, if you waypoint away, you go to, say, a sanctuary or something, or you log out and back in, those checkpoints will disappear and you'll have to come back here for that. You'll want to make sure you kill all of these lava elementals because they will just keep chasing you while you're also in the lava. And no matter what, you'll just end up dying. But the handy part is, as long as you're in the volcano, when you die, you just respawn. And you'll always respawn at your most recent checkpoint. And then I'll get some glide time to kind of avoid some more burning. We'll hop on these rocks. And voila! First checkpoint! This is your very first official checkpoint. There are four checkpoints in total aside from the start. Like I said earlier, that start one is just to make sure you don't have to waypoint all the way back if you die before checkpoint number one. Go ahead and glide across here. Always make sure you get as high as you possibly can. In some spots, this will be the difference between making it and falling flat in the lava. Go ahead and avoid this spot entirely as far as stopping goes. Just go ahead and glide on over here. Just avoid the lava plumes. If you glide into those, you will lose your glider and plummet. Now in this area, there are tons of different ways to get up. The way I usually use is using my swiftness boost and jumping up over there. You can also jump behind me and up to this point. I believe there's another portion in the furthest little nook over there that you can jump up to. It's whatever way works. Now from here, we'll go ahead and open up the prototype position rewinder that you get from the Sandswept Isles. Mark our spot and go ahead and start gliding. Do not worry about stopping and healing in here. Just get to the highest point and glide. Avoid the lava plume again. 
and you'll want to jump up this one last step. Slide on over here. As you can see, I've opened up this chest already. There are a few on the way. From here, wait for a swift boost and then glide to the right. And boom, checkpoint number two. From here, you just glide on over to three. Once again, lava plumes. You have plenty of room to glide to the side. Now, this little portion is kind of a pain. It looks like you can run right up, but you can't. There's a bit of that dip there that makes it difficult. So instead of just running up here forever, just run to the right side, jump up, and you're good. From here, we'll glide into this little nook to the left over here. Up the slippery rock. And checkpoint number three. You'll want to open up your glider early. And then glide on over here. Again, avoiding a lava plume. You'll want to go for this little ledge over here towards the back. Get to the highest point in this little spot. There's another chest over here if you want. From here, we're going to look for a very small dip in this little flat surface ahead of us. That's where we're going to want to land. And then we're going to attempt to jump up this little uh, rock face here. And boom, last checkpoint. From here, you can go ahead and start porting if you want. Because you're at the very last checkpoint and you haven't opened the chest yet, you can just die and come back up here anytime you need. Down there is number one. So here's number two. You can go from here to two, or from two to one, and get people up to that one. From there, I would open a portal and then continue the normal way to number three and go ahead and open a portal there if people really don't want to glide. Three is technically lower than where two is, so you can't glide from three to two. Once you have people at number three, anywhere up here is where you can port from four to number three. Keep in mind the farther up you port here, the farther over you have to port in number three. So lay a portal, glide on over to number three. Trust me, you will make it here. It's fine. You go too far up, You'll get the message saying, out of range, you'll just need to go a little bit further. And boom, you've gotten people to checkpoint number four. If you ever need to reset, just go ahead and jump into the lava and it'll reset you here. If you want to keep continuing portaling people, just keep repeating the process. In order to continue on, we have two different paths here. We have the normal multiple stepping stones, and we have another path that looks like it's not climbable, but it is. After you get over this little hump here, you literally just run up the side. Now we don't necessarily need it right here, but we're going to go ahead and open up our position rewinder. Easy glide over this way. Again, two routes. You can billy get up this way from the start, or you can just go on over here. I start over here just because it's a little bit easier for me and it tends to take less time. When you land, you can either jump on up or you can wait for a swiftness boost. Make sure to stop here and go on over here with a swiftness boost. We're going to look for a flat surface over here. 
and we are going to very carefully jump around these rocks. And again, we are faced with two paths. You can go the normal route, which is jumping from here to a lower ledge. You'll want to get on the very tip of this ledge and jump on this little corner on the rock right here. If you don't do exactly that and you start jumping around aimlessly, you will just slide off. Now, if you want to go the other way, instead of gliding behind us, what we're going to do is we're going to glide around this rock here. Billy, go on up, get as high as you possibly can. I think that's as high as we can go. And you'll basically just glide slightly higher on that other rock. run up here and as you can see it gets a little slippery on this portion all right that across the way over there that is our chest so let's glide on over. You'll want to keep your position rewinder handy even when you land over here. Because there are still plenty of places to mess up to the point where you can't checkpoint back. Go ahead and use this here because there are lots of slippery places. Use little steps as much as you can. Go ahead and reset that. And this is why we use that, because everything is slippery. And you can use that thing even when you're in mid-glide, so you don't have to worry about having to land first. I always jump around that portion because I'm paranoid. An itty bitty jump over here. Don't don't go too crazy. And then just make sure you kill the same because it can just knock you off stuff and or kill you. It does have this annoying block thing every once in a while, so just do as much DPS as you can, wait for it to stop blocking, and then continue on. And boom! I've already opened this chest before, but because I've done a new run, I'm still at checkpoint number four. If I were to open this chest newly, I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't be able to port people the way I want to like earlier. Once you open the chest, that's it. You have done it. Good job.